Hi everyone. I'm Dr. Shuddha Arya, founder of Shuddha Rehab and Wellness. I'm practicing in the field of physiotherapy for last 12 years. Today I'm going to present a case of role of physiotherapy in Bell's palsy. So what is Bell's palsy? Bell's palsy is a facial paralysis which is caused by dysfunction of cranial nerve 7 which is facial nerve. Facial nerve innervates the muscles of facial expression, sensory for taste to the anterior two-third of the tongue and parasympathetic innervations to the lacrimal gland which is tear duct and most of the salivary gland. The risk factor for Bell's palsy are diabetes, high blood pressure, toxins, infections like herpes simplex, Lyme disease, etc. The most common causes of facial palsy are stroke, middle ear infection, multiple sclerosis, skull fractures, GBS, etc. Exposure to the cold or wind are also contributing factors. Bell's palsy is also known as idiopathic peripheral facial palsy. It results in inability or reduced ability to move the muscle on the affected side of the face that is facial palsy so bell's palsy is an idiopathic condition that is no specific cause has been conclusively established so incidences of bell's palsy are 20 to 30 cases per 1 lakh people per year in india it affects men and women equally bell's palsy can occur at any age but most common between 15 to 60 years of age A 38 years old male patient CA by profession presented with moderate severe symptoms of facial drooping and weakness on the right side leading to difficulties in drinking speaking controlling of muscles of facial expressions therefore difficulty in chewing smiling and spitting since a week so this patient presented with the history of sudden onset of above mentioned symptoms before one week no history of infection no history of exposure to any cold or wind no history of ear pain so facial asymmetry was observed right eyebrow was depressed the nasolabial fold looked normal the mouth was deviated on the left side of the face the bells phenomena was present on the right side of the face The Bell's phenomenon is a medical sign that allows observer to notice an upward and outward movement of a eye when an attempt is made to close the eyes. While normally closing the eye, the eyeball moves upwards and inwards. So euphoria was absent, wasting was absent. So on palpation, we could see that the temperature was normal. There was no tenderness. There was no spasm. but there was little bit of swelling on the right side of the face so on examination we examine occipito frontalis buccinator zygomatic major mentalis orbicularis oris corrugator superficialis and nasalis so right side muscles were weak functional and left side muscles were functional patient found it difficult to frown close his right eye completely wrinkle his forehead bare his teeth and open his mouth blowing out his cheeks and pursuing the lips and raise his eyebrows so we checked corneal reflex in this patient the right side corneal reflex was absent the special test that we performed was tinel sign which was absent hyperacusis which was absent test of sensation absent and tinnitus was absent so the house breakman score was 2 out of 8 so this patient was severely affected so how we manage this patient so early stages of facial palsy onset to approximately 3 months so firstly we did patient education the protection of the eye during sleep use of eye patch was advised so patient was educated about the dry eye management his eye was looking red and he reported frequent episodes of redness so we had to refer him to the ophthalmologist and his condition was maintained with the eye drops the physiotherapy treatment included the electric muscle stimulations we gave 30 contraction to each point so we used galvanic stimulations initially then after initiation of the movements we moved to faradic muscle stimulations the stimulations to all the motor points of the facial nerve that is the frontalis corrugator orbicularis oculi facial nerve the medial branch the orbicularis oris the facial 
nerve lower branch mentalis buccinator and rhizorius nasalis then we gave him the facial exercises so sit and relax in front of a mirror for a mirror feedback we gently asked him to raise the eyebrows with the help of the finger draw the eyebrow together and frown wrinkle up your nose take a deep breath through your nose try to flare the nose gently deep breath through nose try and flare the nostrils so you asked him to gently try and move the corners of his mouth outwards try and keep the movement same on each side of the face take the help of fingers to maintain the smile lift one corner of the mouth then the other we asked him to try to whistle we asked him to try to blow his cheeks and try to close his eyes so we used pnf techniques in this patient's physiotherapy protocol facial pnf exercises were given the neuromuscular retraining was given the mirror feedback while doing the exercises were given the mind therapy was introduced to him which included the treatments such as self massage breathing and relaxation exercises exercises to enhance the coordination between both the sides of the face and to reduce the synkinesis exercises to help with the eye and lip closure later word and facial expression exercises so the facial expression exercises were given the home exercise program was designed for him we asked him to follow this exercise program twice a day blowing candles chewing activities using bigger straws while drinking water blowing air in balloon was advised so patient did this exercises for 3 months he followed all the home protocol exercises as well so by the end of the 3 months he could do the exercises without any difficulty he could eat drink and chew normally his swallowing was normal his facial expressions were back to normal there was no facial asymmetry or drooling observed he could properly close his eyes and there were no complaints of dry or red eyes he could blow whistles and blow his cheeks well so he was asked to do a follow up after 3 months with a physiotherapist the follow up after 3 months with physiotherapist was advised the regular follow ups with the ophthalm and concerned medical doctors was advised